Welcome to Agriculture and Fishery Art 7. Today, we will tackle the week 8, the products and byproducts of poultry and livestock production and the farm waste management in poultry and livestock production. Products of poultry and livestock production, livestock raising provides a wide array of benefits. While it is true that it provides a source of employment of the community members, it also provides a wide array of goods and services. We have the traction. Farm animals such as cattle can serve as draft animals to draw farm implements, agricultural supplies, and products. While dairy products are derived from livestock that produces milk, such as cattle and goat. For eggs and meat are excellent sources of protein and other nutrients. For clothing, can be made from animal skin and feather. For pharmaceutical products are derived from skin, bones, horn, hooves of slaughtered livestock. First, we have the slaughtered house waste. Our byproducts derive when livestock are butchered in the slaughtered house. Slaughtering leaves skins, bones, horn, hooves, bloods, fat, and offal. Next, the catering waste. Our materials used in the entire livestock production. It includes food waste, plastics and packaging of the feeds, glass bottle of medicine, boxes, and cardboards. Fall and stop. Our farm animals die due to natural causes, diseases, or killed prior to harvest. Materials. Produced by animals such as manure, eggshells, feathers, wool, and fiber. The former foodstuff or animal origin are products that are no longer suitable for human consumption such as milk, eggs, and meat. For waste management system, we have the production, collection, transfer to storage to treatment, and the utilization. For production, it refers to the amount and nature of agricultural waste generated. Management of waste considers the quantity of waste generated, as it becomes a major concern in dealing with it, about 70% is covered with. For collection, it is referred to as the initial capture and gathering of waste from its source or deposition to a collection point. It considers the method of collection, location, scheduling, labor requirement, needed equipment, and facilities, management and impact transfer this refers to the transfer and transportation of waste throughout the system this consider the transport of waste from collection point to the storage facility treatment facility and utilization facility storage this refers to the temporary containment of waste before transfer Thus, a temporary storage facility is needed before it is being scheduled for pickup. Treatment This process involves the reduction of impact the waste can bring such as pollution and modification of the physical characteristics of the waste. Pre-treatment is an effective method to facilitate more efficient and effective handling of waste. Utilization this process involves reusing or recycling of waste products, such as source of energy and source of organic matter, through composting. Proper treatment of agricultural waste can be profitable. The following figure shows the handling of waste in a dairy farm. That's the end of our lesson for today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and share, subscribe, and hit the bell button.